Hi everyone, so I'm here today with two reveal wheel cards using products by Lawn Fawn. And the second reveal wheel we're gonna make is a scratch and sniff reveal wheel. So we'll, we will get there after we make this cute little card, which has a big band theme using some stamps from Lawn Fawn. This is the Critter Concert stamp set and we're also using the reveal wheel die kit to, to make this product. So to start, let's start by coloring the images that we're going to use for this card. And I'm going to show you four different um, brown family combinations using Copic markers. So you have um, a sense of how to color critters and using four different brown shades. So for this first critter for the owl, I used um, browns in the E40 series, um, which is more of a cool brown um, family of colors by Copic. For this little fox down here, we're going to use the colors in the E10 family, specifically E13, E15, and E19, which has a nice reddish brown hue and is perfect for cute little foxes. Um, and for the cheeks, we're going to use for all the critters um, colors in either R20, R00, or R32, which are my favorite colors to add rosy cheeks to little animals. For the horn, um, we're going to use Y13, Y15, and then Y38. For the bear, we're going to use some really, really warm, rich brown colors in the E20 range, specifically E23, E27, E25, and then E29. And I just wanted to point out about colors in this range is that E21 is the lightest color, but if you use E21 as a base and then try to blend the others into it, E21 and E23 are too far apart from each other to get a really good blend. So what I usually do is use E23 for the base and then do what I'm doing here, which is use E21 over that later on to kind of lighten up any areas that I think are too dark. For the bird, we're gonna use Y11, Y18 and then I think that's Y19 and for the nose YR16. For the raccoon um, we're going to use the grays and neutral gray um, N0, N2, N4, and N6 and we're going to make the belly light with just N0 and N2 and maybe a little, little bit of N4 on the outside and then the rest of the raccoon is gonna be darker, um, going all the way up to an N6 for the rest of his body. And then the mask is gonna be the darkest jet with N8 around the rim, and then N4 in the middle, and then going over the eyeballs with a colorless blender just to make sure that they're still visible given how dark the mask is. All right, now it's time to cut these little guys out so that they'll be ready to use on our card later. And that's what I'm doing here, using the dies in the kit. Now I'm just gonna remove everything and put all that away. And now we're gonna to put together the reveal wheel itself. And these are all um, pieces that I cut from the Long Farm Reveal Wheel die set. Um, and now I'm just kind of penciling in where I want the sentiments to go. So you have a chance to put four different sentiments around the wheel as it spins. So I just marked um, the sections where I, I wanted to put those. And now I'm going to use some of the happy birthday sentiments that are included in the reveal wheel messages stamp set by Lawn Fawn. And it says, happy birthday, many wishes, enjoy your day and all the best. And I use black VersaFine ink. And then I went over that with clear embossing powder and heat set that. Now I'm just erasing the pencil marks so they don't show through on the reveal wheel. To put the reveal wheel together, um, the smaller circle goes behind um, the larger circle and it should be on the back side. Um, and then you want to just kind of check and make sure that your sentiments line up okay. There are little guides um, on, the, on, the, on the die cut pieces that will help you. Um, you want to pop everything up on, on foam tape. You want to put foam tape all around that small circle. And to do that, I use these little 
foam squares um, because that's what I saw other YouTube creators using when making this and I thought that was um, a good idea. I think the one thing to keep in mind is that if you are going to use whatever foam adhesive you use, just make sure that it has the, the same depth um, for all of the pieces. So for example, if um, I'm going to use these little foam squares for the back of the reveal wheel, then I don't want to use Scotch 3M foam tape for the rest of the card. I want to use the foam squares as well, like, like I'm doing here, because otherwise they may have different depths and then the card might not go together correctly. So either go Scotch 3M all the way or go foam squares all the way, um, depending on you know which, which medium that you choose just to make sure they're all the same height. Okay, and then we're going to put this all together. So we're gonna place the card base on top of the, um, the underpinning of the card, I guess we can call it. Then we're gonna attach all of that to a card base. And now is the fun part. Now we get to decorate. And to decorate, I'm also using this die set that was part of Lawn Fawn's new release. Um, I don't remember the name. I think it's like musical notes or something, but it's a bunch of musical notes and this little music bar. I'm not sure exactly what that's called, but any of you musicians out there, I'm sure you know what it is, so feel free to let me know in the comments. And I'm gonna attach a little speech bubble frame above happy birthday. Um, decided that the placement of my little bird there that I needed to move him over a little bit so it looked like he, the speech bubble was coming from him, that he's the one saying all these greetings, happy birthday, um, best wishes, etc. And then we're going to put him on a little music stand. And then for the ground, we're going to turn that music bar into the ground. And then we're going to add his little friends to the scene. So there's a little owl to the left of the, of the bird, a little raccoon to the right. And then down in the front, we have the little bear who's popped up on some foam tape. And then the fox who is also popped up on some foam tape. And now they have their little band and they're, they're ready to, to play some music. And I'm just kind of rearranging everything, making sure that, um, that, they, that they're all placed appropriately. I'm gonna add some musical notes from that music notes die set from Lawn Fawn. I'm gonna put some black glaze pen over the eyes so that the eyes on the little animal stand out. And then finally, we're gonna give the little bird a little conductor stick. And I'm sure that's not the word for it, but um, you know what I mean, the little, the little wand that the conductor uses. And I added some glitter pen to the instruments and that's about it. So here is our cute little reveal wheel card for uh, birthday. Now we're going to move on to our special scratch and sniff reveal wheel. And to do this, I'm gonna use the little ice cream add-on that goes along with the reveal wheel kit. And I'm gonna just cut out two panels using that large die. The back panel is not going to have little ice cream cut out, um, only the front panel will. So that's what I'm doing here. And now, we're going to cut out a little ice cream cone to put on the top. This panel I was gonna use for a card, but sadly I dumped some coffee on it. So now I'm just gonna to have to cannibalize all the little ice cream cones that were not tainted by the coffee stain and use them in other cards. And so that's what I'm doing here. So I'm just um, gonna place that little ice cream cone on top. And then the rest of the background are going to be just a whole bunch of little ice cream cones in all different directions. And um, that's what I'm, that's what I'm stamping here. And I'm not going in any particular order. I'm just making sure that they're a good space apart, that they're kind of going in all different directions. So it just looks like, you know, a big giant ice cream cone galaxy. That's kind of what I was, what I guess what I was thinking when I did this. Um, and once we're done stamping them all, and this is just with Memento Black Ink, then we're gonna color them in in Copic markers. And I'm going to, show you some different options for coloring in the, the cone shape for the ice cream cones that you can use for, for these ice cream cones or, or any ice cream cones you may um, color in in the future. So we're gonna start with a warm brown combination using Copic markers in the E20s, specifically E21, E25, and then E27. Um, I, and then we're going to use some in the cool tones 
in the E40, so the base is going to be E41, and then the very, very bottom is going to be E47, and then the middle, um, we're going to blend everything together with E43. And now we're going to use another warm brown combination, the E30s. This is probably my favorite combination of colors in, in all the, the Copics. And we're going to use E31 for the base, E37 for the, the very, very bottom of each of those little sections, and then E33. Um, I'm sorry, E34 to blend everything together. For the ice cream cones, we're going to make chocolate ice cream cones. We're going to make a little like butter pecan ice cream cone and then vanilla and then strawberry. And so I'll just, I'm just showing how I colored each of those flavors so that if you want to duplicate at home, you can. And here with this butter pecan ice cream cone or coffee ice cream or whatever you want to think, I'm showing you the, um, what happens when you try to use E21 as the base and then blend E23 into it. It just, those two colors are just too far apart. They're just not going to work without a lot of trouble. So every now and then I kind of forget how bad they are. And then I, I go back and I try to blend the E23 and E21, realize it's not working and then just go over the whole thing with E23. One day I will, one day I'll learn, but so far I haven't. For vanilla, we're just going to use some warm gray tones. W3 will be the, the darkest tone. We'll go all the way down to W00. Um, for the strawberry flavored ice cream cones, we're going to use RV000 and then RV52 and RV55. Um, now, I don't know if you're like me, but I tend to forget about RV52 and 55 a lot of the times, and I'll just go to R81, 83, and 85. But don't forget your RV52 and 55. They're really, really pretty pink colors, very, very br vibrant and bright, and I think they have a brightness at the R81, 83, 85 combo, pink combo doesn't. So just, um, you know, try, try sometime in the next week to use your R52 and R55, and I think you'll be, you'll be really, really happy with the results. Okay, then I decided that in between the ice cream cones was kind of sad and lonely, so I added some cherries there, and we're going to color those in with E24 and E29, um, and then put a little cherry on top of the little, um, chocolate ice cream cones head. And then I decided that, you know, cause I can never stop. Um, I always want to add more and more. So I added some hearts in also just to fill in some gaps. And we're going to color those in with a darker red combo E46 and E, no, R46 and R56. And that completes it after I also put some little faces on the ice cream cones. Okay, so for the fun part, we're going to use these scratch and stiff snicker, stickers by Inky Antics. And we're going to make four different flavored um, ice cream cones for that center ice cream. So we're going to do banana, um, we're going to do peanut butter, we're going to do chocolate, and then we're going to do the gag flavor of pizza. Um, and that's what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of drawing in the pizza flavored ice cream. And these colors are my favorite colors for um, coloring in pizzas. Our, uh, YR 24 and 27 for the base of the pizza, the cheese, and then our um, 46 and 56 for the little pepperonis, and then white gel pen to put the little gross things that are in pepperonis, as well as some black pen, um, because there's lots of little gross things floating around pepperonis. So now I'm just putting the little scratch and, sni scratch and sniff stickers onto the different flavors. So like I said, we have chocolate, peanut butter, banana, and pizza. And that's the reason I chose those because those were the scratch and sniff stickers I had on hand. Um, and then we're gonna put some, a little scratch and sniff stamp um, near the cone that is scented so that everyone knows to scratch and sniff that area. I added the little arrow on the right hand side by the reveal wheel so that um, the recipient knows to move the wheel around. And then this sentiment comes from the sweetest flavor stamp set by Lawn Fawn. It says, of all the flavors, you're the sweetest. And I found some pink embossing powder um, to put onto the word sweetest just to, to break up the colors a little bit. Um, so thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you like this video. I hope you learned a lot. And I hope you try this out. Have a great day. Bye.